Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Half Jack's Let's Never Finish a Let's Play. Um, this time I'm going with Tom Clancy's End War. Uh, I was really excited about it when it first came out, and I didn't end up getting it until Steam had their Tom Clancy sale a while back. Well, one of their Tom Clancy sales. I've always really liked Tom Clancy games, not necessarily because of Tom Clancy's name, but they seem to really encourage teamwork. This, not so much. I'm gonna avoid the prelude for now. If I end up completing this, I might go back and uh, do that just for completion's sake. And let you guys find out what the story is. I don't want to do hardcore because I'm really not that good at the game. But I'm gonna do hardcore anyways. And we are actually going to go Europe, but I'll describe each of the forces you can go. The USA, the Joint Strike Force. An evolution of the Marines, the JSF is renowned for air and ground combat. Embodying the motto, high speed, low drag, they excel in precision fire and fast deployment. Moreover, their stealth and robotics technologies are unrivaled. <laughs> so you might be thinking, you have lots of sneaky guys and robots. Untrue. You have just as many sneaky guys and robots as each of the other armies. I don't know if they're better, I don't... I think they're good with their infantry and their air units. The Enforcer Corps. The Enforcer Corps consist of troops from across Europe. Calm and exact, these elite squads are notably skilled in urban conflicts. They excel in electronic warfare, employ energy weapons in combat, and have the fastest vehicles. So, when I first beat it, I was USA Airborne, because it seems smart, so Airborne Infantry. This time, I'm going to be Europe Armor. European Armor. Or Russia, the Spetsnaz Guard Brigade. Trained on the battlefield, the Spetsnaz are a determined and deadly force. They focus on heavy weapons and armor, and often adapt standard-issue gear to suit their needs. These modifications result in vehicles bristling with weaponry. Uh, that's true. The Russians do look pretty cool all around. <clears throat> also, even though this is supposed to be a future war, they uh, look a lot like they're from the 80s. But we're going to go with Europe. And in the story, they had uh, armored is what I'm on. Transports, blah blah blah. Tanks have 10% damage, bonus, and less health though. We'll check out the tactical. Artillery might be good. And then assault. Eh. No. And we're gonna go with tanks, just because. <laughs> That's what we like. So we are now Colonel Lars Beckenbauer. A good German name. Um, forgot what I was saying before. Oh yeah, the Europeans. They're like the most technologically advanced of all the armies in this game. Like, they've got energy sheathed bullets. Which, uh, we're gonna overwrite, overwrite the previous save. You can only fight one battle per turn. So generally, the campaign here is a bit different than what you might expect. Um, it's a world map. You do different things, other people do different... Well, your enemies do different things, and that's how it works. It does not quite follow the... story, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So at first, we've got 8,000 credits. We're going to enter the barracks, which is where you can buy upgrades for your army. Right. Each one of these are for your battalion. These just represent your troops. So, attack one increases your accuracy on your tanks. I'm gonna go for that. Um, their ranks are down here. It's, um, you buy upgrades battalion-wide, and then as your troops get more experience under their belt, they'll advance in rank, and they'll qualify for the upgrades that you've purchased. So we'll get attack one. It's only useful to me right now. 
are the only one useful to me right now because I don't have anyone else. There we go. And since I am setting up tanks as my main thing, oh yeah, each unit has a shield that you need to break through before you kill them. A bigger shield is going to be beneficial. That's... It seems to me like it'd be obvious to you guys. I don't know why you needed me to tell you that. You fucking sheep. Mobility. Take a wild fucking guess what that's for. We're gonna get more mobility. And we're gonna check out our artillery. I am going armored, so... I would like to have... A more mobile response force. And I'm gonna have that in my artillery. So we're gonna upgrade its damage. If everything goes right, I shouldn't need it to be all that defensively capable, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm split on the movement speed. I'll need to think this over. You also have battalion-wide things. Force Recon, Forward Command. That's pretty cool. It's only 100,000 credits. I think we're going to go for that. Now you can change your camo. Uh, I think we're going to go for urban. That's because that shit's classy as hell. So we've got 300 credits left. Attack. It's it's all useful. I mean, you're going to be using infantry no matter what force you're or what your army is. But I don't really want to invest some of my earlier credits into them just yet that's going to be useful because that's really your main purpose for these guys aside from clearing out engineers and adaptive stealth you'll purchase that as well it just makes your guys harder to see now we have 100,000 credits left not going to do anything with my engineers just yet these guys that I like you the game is pretty much rock, paper, scissors. Your tanks are good against your combat transports, which are good against your gunships, which are good against your tanks. And then you've got engineers, which are good against all vehicles, if they can hit them. So like artillery, they're not as good at that unless they're close to the artillery. Riflemen are good against engineers, but they're weak against vehicles. Artillery, it's good against things that aren't close to it, and not air units. Then your command vehicle is where you command from. Sort of. I don't particularly like it. Because it seems like a fifth wheel. I'll try to use it more, I think, in this. But that's where we're going with it. Or that's what we're going with it for now. So now we'll stop with the less than interesting upgrade section. Yeah, I know how this works. And we will go into combat. Also, I'm going to turn down my volume for a moment. I will be right back. Fuck it. Apparently I won't. It is as low as it goes. So, fight Russians or Americans first? I think I will hold off the Americans since we're pushing the Russians, not the other way around. So, we'll go ahead and select this mission. Multiple uplink sites must be defended. Capitan, inform the colonel. Yes, General. Arabida, Portugal. Native ground. The Americans will launch their operation from a mobile offshore base, coming in on Valkyries and Goshawks. Troop Command Europa could lend us assets in range. We would be fighting without benefit of air support. The enemy would be fighting without air cover. There is exposure to attacks, but that would apply to both sides. That was helpful. Alright. Alright, so this dude is apparently pretty much geared to be my bitch. He's gonna be using the 
transports, which, as you'll recall, tanks kick ass against. However, he does have engineers, so I'm going to need to bring infantry as well. He has everything, but he focuses on those things. Yeah, I know. I am actually going to bring Pilatus. No, 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 no. We'll bring Katana. And... Neeper. I think that's how you pronounce that. Not going to be all that good against his vehicles just yet. I do think that the European things are the best, though. Also, going to be issuing commands by voice. Deploy tanks. Did you see that shit? One, secure Delta. Two, move to Delta. It's uh, nice and easy, not really anything too impressive. Your resource management. Oh, wait. Two, halt. Two, stop. Ah. Oh, look at that. They listened to me. I don't remember all the commands. <laughs> this has been, it's been a little bit. I don't know why I didn't think about loading them up before. Three, move to Zulu. Unit three, move to Z Zulu. Two, move to Delta. Actually, uh, uh, there we go. Turn this up. Maybe three, and that to two. Apply. Check center quadrant. As on U.S. Army troops. Detected hostile units are displayed on mission radar. And so, my biggest complaint about the... Oh, shit. Moving to Zulu with my tanks might not be the best idea. Um... <laughs> My biggest complaint about this is how restricted the camera is. It can only move on units, and it seems like it can only move on your units. So you can't, like, zoom around the world or... Fuck. Two, move to Zulu. Two, move to Delta. Three, move to Zulu. You don't need to push down the button to talk, half check. Deploy tanks. Inbound on DZ. Oh shit. Here. In position and holding. So actually, what we're going to do, because those gunships Jack will Bravo. fuck me up. By hostile forces. It's because you're attacking things that you can't take. Let's check out these guys. We need to unload our infantry. Oh, stop. Right there, buddy. There we go. Use Badger IFVs to shoot down hostile gunships. Eyes on Blackfoot gunships. Four. Move to Unit 3. One. Secure Delta. Two, move to Zulu. Alright, so now we'll watch Squad 1. They're just going to secure this area for me. I gave them the mobility boost, so they'll do it quicker. Oh, God damn it. Two, attack hostile 1. Delta. Up link is secure. We have multiple units ready to deploy. One. Upgrade Delta. Check that is apparently quadrant. not an option. On on nope. One. Secure Lima. Deploy Riflemen. Deploy Transports. Zulu. Up link secured by hostiles. Units inbound on DZ. Three. Attack Hostile 2. Four, attack hostile two. Let's see, I was looking at my infantry instead of these guys. Two, 
to retreat. Yeah, much snow. Tanks are not doing shit. Alright, so my transport. Yeah. Once they get, like, taken out of the battle, they'll just kind of stop. Unit 3 and 4, attack hostile 3. Unit 6, attack hostile 1. Ready to deliver reinforcements. Five, secure Foxtrot. We are capturing Check unit four. Unit four, move to Foxtrot. Deploy tanks. Tank requested. Units inbound on DZ. Battlespace deployment is at maximum. Unit six, move to Foxtrot. Fire on our position. This is bomb. Survivors on board are being lifting off. Check Lima. Uplink is secure. Let's see what is near here. Check unit four. They're suppressed. The men are starting to make mistakes. This is bad. All survivors are loaded. Lifting off now. I'm blown. U.S. Army troops. Galileo. Also tanks deployed. This is bomb. Survivors loaded. Outbound. Check unit four. Extraction requested. Seven. Move to Foxtrot. So right now, kind of getting my ass handed to me. Oh shit, what are they fighting? Oh fuck, tanks! Trying to get the transports out of the way. Seven, move to Foxtrot. There we go. So now my tanks, which will do a bit better against hostile tanks, are engaging these and have attracted their attention. Deploy artillery. I don't know why I hadn't deployed artillery before. Okay, Unit 6 is actually getting schwacked. Unit 6, attack hostile 1. Goodbye, Unit 6. You have served me well. Ah, there we go. Alright. That was embarrassing. But now I have a forward deployment zone. And I'm moving my infantry. Deploy tanks. Units entering the battle space. I'm not gonna want to move them just yet. Because my tanks, I mean, I don't have any anti air support and those gunships are fucking tearing me a new one. Infantry and buildings have longer range. If the reticle's range number is green, the unit won't have to move to attack. <laughs> fucking tearing them up. Shit. Should have deployed transports, I need it more. Oh, damn, my infantry are apparently ripping the shit out of- Oh, no, 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 don't leave your cover. Bad idea. Units can be forced to attack buildings or move to locations without taking advantage of cover. I'm gonna have to turn off hints. <laughs> West there we go. Alright, unit two, stop, 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 stop. That's a bad idea, buddy. Because they have something at Delta. Infant unit three, move to Delta. 
Unit 3, move to Delta. Deploy transports. I have to have units inbound on DZ. Shit. Oh my god. Transport to deploy. Check Alpha. EMP spike on the way. Flatbook here. Artillery fire on our position. Shit. Check unit unit 2, retreat. WMD Yankee. They're at risk. WMD Yankee. Now I need to kind of rush. Fuck. Four, attack hostile one. Unit 3, attack hostile 1. Unit 2, attack hostile 4. Where the fuck? Unit 5, move to Delta. Unit 1, move to Delta. That's okay. All you need to do is buy time for me. Again, that's okay. There we go. Fucking about time. Unit 4, attack hostile 2. Deploy transports. He went way more air than I expected. Unit 1, secure Delta. Okay. Unit 5, move to Foxtrot. Oh, sons of bitches. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, wait, that's me, that's me. Thank God. Way different than I thought. Oh, still not good though. Still not good. Engineers versus vehicles is a bad fight for vehicles. Yes, they are. Deploy tanks. As on JSF pioneers, <laughs> we have multiple units ready to deploy. This is Flatbow. We have lost two machines. This is Wait right here. Is ours. Check Delta. It is secured. We have multiple units ready. Deploy to gunships. Delta have secured it. Units inbound on DZ. Battle space deployment is at maximum. Check Unit Six. They're getting nerfed. Check South Quadrant. Hostiles deploying. This is Vito. All survivors are loaded. Lifting off now. This is Cutie. Panthers on the ground. We won't let you down, Mr. Hunter. Hey, on the name! This is Human! We've got nothing left! Extract now! Straight away! Check Unit 6. Evac requested. Shit. <laughs> Inbound to extraction. Check unit seven. It's gunships. They're at risk. This is Beethoven. Gonna get wiped out. See the gun <laughs> Tell you what we're gonna do, guys. That was embarrassing. So I think we're just gonna surrender. I'm not gonna be able to stop them in time. Shit, I can't just give up. I'm not gonna be able to do it, though. Damn it. Ships are perfect tank killers. The battle space is theirs, Colonel. The Americans outfought us, Colonel. Mm. After action report is ready, Colonel. I just wasn't ready. It was poorly performed. I don't need an after action report. It's just gonna say your shit. Spotting artillery! 
Let's not save that replay. I had a command rating of E, which I do not believe means exceptional. The strategic display is updating now. Here we see the results of the past week's engagements. We were dishonored on native soil. Yeah, I know, man. That was embarrassing. Fortunately, the Russians kicked their shit in. 